First lock we'll look at is the Houston Texans against the Kansas City Chiefs. Houston at home here and favored by a point. Two offenses that are deliberate, loving to run the football first to set up play action and shots. I just think at this juncture, Houston does it better offensively and has a better defense. A week ago, some red flags popped up for the Kansas City, a team that was a Super Bowl fad pick when a lot of circles. Kansas City really struggled to stop the running game of the Chargers, and the Chargers haven't run the football well in years. So that was a bit of a surprise and something that I don't think bodes well for them as they go against Houston in their own backyard trying to do what they do better. Houston with that defense and the ability to run the ball superior at this juncture in September. Texans are your lock. For our second lock, we look at the San Diego Chargers at home and favored by three points against the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's those same San Diego Chargers who a week ago gave up a 21-point lead to the Chiefs with only five minutes remaining in the third quarter. That's the Chiefs offense, not the Jaguars a much more explosive group. When San Diego's giving up plays like that in critical moments and you give me three points, lock it up, baby. Jaguars are your lock. Cowboys visit the Redskins. The Redskins, a three-point favorite at home. Not much to go off of from a week ago because both of these teams' opponents was so dissimilar to what they'll see this week in week two. Most notable for me is the Redskins' deep arsenal of offensive skill players, something that should stress this Cowboys defense at the third, fourth, and fifth target level. I look at Kirk Cousins as a big bounce-back candidate in Week 2, with this offense able to stress the Cowboys' defense in ways the Giants couldn't a week ago. Skins are your lock. In our final game, the Colts head to Denver to face the Broncos as six-point underdogs. The difference in this game for me a Denver offense that looks like they have the ability to control tempo with C.J. Anderson in that running game against a Colts defense that looks like they may struggle to stop a lot of people. That defense didn't look like the kind of group you'd want to take to face the defending champs out in their own backyard at this early juncture in the season. If this thing goes north of seven, maybe back off the Broncos, but at six, take it all day every day. Broncos are the lock. And those are your FBF locks for week two. Have a great weekend.